Hello everyone, Mr. Brian here, and I'm here with another Try This at Home science activity. Now today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a maraca. And what we're going to be using to make the maraca are some materials that should be easy to come by, especially at the time of year in which I'm filming this, which is in March of 2021. So, what I have for my materials is I have a couple of plastic spoons, I have some masking tape, I have some beans, these are just some nice dry um, brown beans, and I have a plastic egg. Now, this should be something that we have, um, should be fairly easy to find right now as we're going about to do this. So, let's get started. What we're going to do is, you can see my little plastic egg has a little piece that keeps it joined together. You want to make sure that you find one that when you close it, that it's going to snap together and not just come apart on you. So, I'm gonna open my egg. I'm gonna take one of my plastic spoons and I'm going to put a spoon of the beans in here. Now, if I filled up the egg all the way, then there wouldn't be any room for when I shake it, like right now, I have a noise. If I filled it up all the way, it would be too full and I wouldn't have the noise. Now, depending on how much of the beans or whatever material that you use to put inside, that will determine, you know, how much of a noise that you get when you shake it. Now, we don't want our egg to pop open on us, so we're going to tape it up. Now, I'm going to use masking tape because that's what I had around in my science supplies. If you had some decorative tape, you could use that. One nice thing about the masking tape is that you can decorate it yourself and put your own pattern on it. Now I would say that if you decorate and color your egg, then make sure on the outside of the designs that you put on the masking tape, whether you use like markers or um, paints or something like that, make sure that you get some of the clear packing tape and put over that. Otherwise, all of the markers or whatever color you put on the masking tape will just come off on your hands or anything else that could be touching the area where you've added the color. And I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to make sure that I have a nice good seal, a nice tight seal. So let me get the beans out of the way. So here is the main part of our maraca. This is the noise making part. So again, there's our sound. Now we need something to hold this in. That's what we're gonna use the two spoons for. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this part and inside the bowl part of the spoon, the part where you scoop up stuff with it, that's gonna be where we're going to put the egg. We're gonna put one egg or one spoon on one side of the egg and then we're gonna put one spoon on the other side. And then to make sure we have things lined up, we'll try to keep the bottom parts of the spoon lined up down here. Now, obviously, to make sure that this holds together, once again, we'll tape around our two spoons here, and then we're also, we'll tape together our two spoons down here at the bottom. So, I would recommend going around probably about four or five times to make sure that you've got plenty of tape to help make sure that you've got a good seal. So that's three for me. I'll do one more. We'll call that four. Probably closer to five. And again, I'm going to kind of press down my tape, make sure I have a nice tight seal. Then I'm going to do the same thing down here, 
down here at the bottom and make sure I have the two parts of bottom parts of my spoon lined up and go around that just like I did with the top part around four times or so may go a little bit longer this time we'll add a couple extra spots so we really want to make sure that this part sticks together okay so here we have our finished maraca now again if you want to add any sort of decorations or colors to the tape that you have made please remember to add some clear tape or some clear packing tape around the outside to hold the color in so it won't get off on your hand or anywhere anywhere else and of course you can test it to see that you can shake around and make a noise or and obviously you know the faster you shake it the different ways that you can either try to increase the noise or change the pitch so again this is a fun little way to recycle a plastic egg and now you can have a fun little maraca that you can use all throughout the year i hope you guys have enjoyed making this little fun sciencey um, craft with me today and I'll see you guys in the next video.